find any progress towards an ag game. So didn't really need it either. Up top, whoa, oh, June and pretty hot. June, please, this could be an early first blood, and it is. The fissure from the low ground, just enough to block him out. Air. There we go, zip in. Can they find Rakil on the rabbit? Maxed out waveform, will scoot out. He's fine. Now in the bottom lane, Ancient Apparition gets dull behind the tower. June comes in, time walk forward, but no chrono. June, this is bold. Totem gets used by Kaka, now Lou drops the hammer all over Westbrook. Sonic wave to boot, they'll try and chase down Kaka. A few more right clicks will be enough. Pretty Hall looking for the deny, but can't quite get it. It's a double kill for Moo on the Quap. And that'll be the end of it. They punish the dive, a little bit of bad luck, and this could be disastrous for Newbie. Pretty Hog gets pinged out, the stolen charge from Banana. There we go. No chrono used. June thinking about it, but doesn't overreact. Sets up for an easy kill there. But holding on to his chrono could be an easy kill with this Orchid. Not particularly tanky right now, especially when not on strength boots. Kaka in the mid lane, now he's getting charged up. Rubik charging on in, telekinesis, and that's a stolen fissure. Easy peasy. He will end up dying though, so ending over the fissure, less than ideal. Also ZSMJ the one getting the kill. Um, particularly scary. We talked about the disparity being Dyer's the offlaners and how well they scale. Fortified. And this is when Spirit Breaker starts Dyer's to lose some of his footing as well. We'll see him charge in the mid lane, goes right on to June. Go for the weak one. Orchid will come out onto him. Sang Shang in a very awkward position. Will get Laguna bladed. That'll be the end of him. Now they lose the void. Looks like the strategy from ZSMJ will be successful as he locks down the void before he can get off the Chronosphere. Compliments of that Orchid. Charge onto the Replicate. Nicely baited by the Morphling. And that will get at least one ability on cooldown, if not only for 10 seconds here. Fortified. Ability rune online. A sentry ward will come down. Mostly for the ward coverage here. That's an observer down. It looks like HGT may be thinking a little harder about Roche. Now initiation. That's what I'm talking about. Ulti's on two. Pretty high. Kaka going to be sent back to the grave here. That should be a shatter. And it is. They'll lose the Rubik off to the side, but the Sonic Wave Chronosphere were there. Nice setup from Newbie. And that is why you do not charge up to a dark high ground. Westbrook will set up onto the Ancient Apparition, though. The long range Nether Strike will make it easy for ZSMJ to come in and clean up. Double kill for him. It's a two for two. Both sides lose their supports. And ends up being a pretty even trade. Rabbit trying to split push up top. Will be charged by Westbrook, but I feel like Westbrook needs to be a little careful here. They know he doesn't have an ultimate. His charge is now on cooldown. Rabbit will do what little damage he can, sends the replicate away, and may just try to see what kind of a play he can make and then hop back to safety if need be. There will be some supports coming this way. Now the Storm Spirit comes zipping in. Rabbit takes the Orchid. He's not even going to get to use the ulti at this point, but he will. Manta style there to get the Orchid off. Thought they might have the stuns. A lucky bash there, and you don't manta off that Orchid and the Soul Burn. Yet they smoke into the pit, but HGT, they know it. Taking a look at the Dire Vision here. They don't have visual confirmation yet. Radiant, they know. This is Radiant Vision here. They've got the Gosu Ward on the high ground. They're still going to stay in the pit, though. This is so risky. They know what's going on. They don't even have the Faceless Void with them. Newbie, oh my gosh. The dice, it's giving me heart computations. They're rolling the dice. Void, we need you. He's got the Chronosphere. Why isn't he here? June. Oh my god. They're going to punish this. He's going to try to snatch the Aegis, but he comes in too late. Rabbit, he's the one to grab the Aegis. Now, how hard did Newbie get punished here, though? Lose Sang Shun and the Aegis of the Immortal. Grab it. Bow! He's just dead. Why? Pretty tanky. Shadow Fiend's pretty tanky. Uh oh, June. He's gonna chrono, but it's on nothing. Well, he sort of catches one. ZSMJ. He'll be forced to BKB. Sonic Wave gonna be a whiff. They'll try and chase him down. Now on the other side, Air channels the Requiem. June just tried to scoot away. ZSMJ will survive. And now Moo. He'll be the one on the back foot. He'll live for now. On the other side, Earthshaker gets left behind. Rabbit finds the kill there. What an awkward fight. A couple of key ultis missed. And now it'll be HGT. Just on the run, and it looks like they will get out pretty much scot-free. Off lucky on this one. Rabbit. Farming out uh, double stack here. Morphling's farm is still pretty good. But, whoa, oh, Echo Slam on the two biggins. Now ZSM again comes Jacobs jumping in. They'll bring down the Queen of Pain. But huge Chrono from June. Finally, the Chronosphere they've been waiting for. Storm Spirit and Kaka in the grave. June will pay with his life as Air starts to wrap around for the high ground. But Banana's still here. He's got a stolen fissure. Maybe, just maybe, they can find another kill. Morphling still alive also, but they just want to secure the Ancients. A two for two, both teams lose. Uh, uh, could fall victim as well. Um, 
He does have the BKB, so that is your, your way to reset. We'll hold that thought. And here we go. Initiation on to June. Zen SMJ drops the Rubik straight away with his BKB on. Ancient Apparition will suffer a similar fate. Oh, boy. They lose their Lina, but it's a three for nil. They get the Void to boot picked up, and now he is just about an Ogre Club away. The rest of newbie smoke up alongside a replicate. Will be away for Morphling to get into this fight while he continues farming. HGT all grouped up around the Roche pit. Roche up in about 45 seconds here. He hasn't spawned yet, but both teams posturing to find an edge. This section of the map. Dire side, some of their wards going down, but they will put another one down. This kind of odd spot next to the tree line here. June catches NSMJ with an ulti Sonic Wave and the Ice Blast to follow up. They'll pick off the storm to get it started, but Air pops an ulti with big damage. He brings down both supports on the side of Newbie. They're going to need a lot more than this if they want to make it an even fight. Moo trying to chase down Pretty Hall on the backside. Should be able to find this kill, and yes, he will. Scream of Pain to finish it off. Now on the other side, Echo Slam onto Rabbit. They'll charge him, they'll chase him down, and they'll get the kill. Faceless Void punished also. Air with a triple kill on on this Shadow Fiend, 6-0 and 6. Going Easter Ham all over the side of Newbie to secure a 2 for f uh, 3 trade, I think. Less than I, 2 for 4 rather. Oh my, mama me. 1900 net worth gained by HGT. A fair bit lost by Newbie. They clear out the tier 2 bottom. There's no Glyph. And the Dire know it. They don't even need Roche. Instead, they go high ground. This is part of the reason you don't glyph tier 2 towers when you don't want to make a hole. Not a glyph you use willy-nilly, you don't get the reset. And now their high ground is under siege. Even if the Void was up, they don't have a Chronosphere for next to a minute here. Radiant's it's a dead tier 3 tower. Air gets credit for the kill, and Newbie will come in to make the defense. Here we go. Moo without an ultimate, only so much damage he can put out. They will try to defend the barracks, but Air stands his ground. BKB still available at that six second charge. Good damage onto the barracks, but they will start to back out. Moo still 50 seconds till his ultimate is here. Dom, Song Shen could be in some trouble, but Air BKB's no Requiem avail. Well, Fissure to break things up, secures the kill onto Rubik. Now Westbrook has his ulti ready. It does get canceled, or he cancels it himself. And will not, I think he cancels it himself, doesn't want to dive into the base. They're just going to head down to the bottom lane again. Charge onto Rabbit. He's got his BKB now, but caught by the Vortex. Orchid's there, it's a dead Rabbit. <laughs> Banana on the run now, but he may get left behind. He's already blinked back once. Glyph has cooled down. They've got some ultis here, they'll have to use them properly. No buyback available on the Morphling. He just went all in on that BKB. Now your Chronosphere on ZSMJ, but remember, he's got the Aegis, he lives through it. Maybe they can force out a shower. Shatter, they will. June gets low, makes it back to the well. Ooh, just barely. Both Radiant supports in the grave without buybacks, and it looks like HGT could be taking game number two to move us into an ace match. Air on an absolute tirade this game, 8-0 and 4. Having a perfect showing as they move into the mid. Tier 3 tower under heavy assault. There is a glyph, but without a chrono, and with three dead and no buyback, it all Radiant's seems grim here for fallen. newbie. Mid lane will get split by Moo, but what little he's oh, doing yeah. doesn't Radiant's seem to make a difference. Void, come on, June, 0, 7, and 8. You're holding back my draft, man. Mid lane of barracks will get cleared out. Things coming up, all HGT. Now Moo gets charged towards the mid lane. Radiant's middle Does have his assault cross up. Will blink to the Radiant's high ground, and TP's home just barely makes it, but he will. Back up and still reinitiate from afar. Really a strong item here. See another fight break out. June holding his ultimate stutters a little bit, but opens up for the hex from ZSMJ. He BKBs, pops the ulti, does catch air. Could this be the end of his domination streak? Moon drops the ulti as well, but oh, hoo, hoo, air! He's alive! He turns it around, a double kill. As godlike streak continues, now the rest of Newbie dropping like flies. Rabbit will be the only one left alive. They do end up losing their Shadow Fiend after all. It's the ancient apparition that ends the streak of all heroes, but it just doesn't matter. GG is called after that disastrous fight. A one for five. HGT taking Dino game number victory. two. We're moving into an ace match, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Game three on the horizon. Very impressive showing from the dire side. I have to say, I don't want to flame him too hard, but they need to find a new hero for June. It seems like Faceless Void and June are not speaking the same language. I don't know if it's a Mandarin versus Cantonese kind of thing here, but it's not working out. Zero, eight, and nine. Raw death count alone 
is not even what we're talking about here. We're talking whiffed chronos, awkward positioning. They need someone else to kind of be their initiator. Good game from Moo on the Queen of Pain. 7, 4, and 5. A pretty good showing there. But ZSMJ, 14, 3, and 8. And of course, Air only finding his first death uh, in that last skirmish there. Uh, their core is just getting a lot and uh, makes things interesting. Hot and spicy here coming into game number three. This is the opening round.